Hi there, this is Miss Brotherton, and today I'm going to show you how to upload video and audio files to WeVideo so that you can layer them in your editing process. Um, also, when I'm done with that, I will show you how to download your video for use outside of this particular application. The first thing you need to do is you need to open WeVideo. Um, I already have it installed in Google Chrome. Um, if you don't, you can easily get it from the Chrome store. But for now, I have my apps page open, and this is how I'm going to get to it. When you open this for the first time, uh, it will ask you for permission to allow offline access. Go ahead and click Accept. You're going to want to do that. Um, as for now, this is my home page. It knows me because I'm already logged in. So I'm going to go ahead and click Create Video. And there's the bell for class. All right, so you're waiting for this to open. And the first thing we're going to do is um, click out of the Android app. And there's my storyboard editing interface. Now you're going to see here that I have several little video clips already out. Um, most of these are ones that I made uh, recording from within WeVideo itself um, using the record button. But the thing I want to show you today is how to upload videos that you took, say using your iPhone or your flip camera, um, something outside of this application. So I'm going to go to Upload Media. And here is where you're going to see Browse. If you're on a Chromebook like my students are using, then this is what you're going to want to click to access either your downloads or your Google Drive. If you're on a Mac or a PC, this is just going to show your hard drive. Um, I'm showing you how to access things today from Google Drive, so that's the way we're going to do it. So I'm going to click down here. Now there's this little app that it, you have to use, Ink File Picker. It's not the greatest thing in the world because it doesn't organize everything very well, but will make do. Um, so I'm scrolling down, I'm looking for my middle school folder. Here it is. And then choir, the music video project, Teray, sample files. So I have a sample video and a sample audio. Both of these are um, uh, between five and ten seconds long, so they're not going to take very long. Um, I'm selecting both and clicking upload. Now, if you're uploading something longer than five or ten seconds, this may take a little time, um, so be patient. But it will show you um, your progress as it goes. Um, it'll you know, upload and process and register and so on and so forth until it tells you it's done. Now, once everything is complete, it's going to register and you can go back to your storyboard. Now, looky there, I have another one. Now, I have three of these because I've been testing this before I shot this video. But now I have my new video, and if you go into the music note, then you can see sample audio is there. Um, that's what we just uploaded. So I'm going to go back to the video clips, and we're going to start there. Now, in order to layer, you're going to want to be in your timeline. And I'm going to go ahead and click Advanced. Storyboard doesn't let you layer, so it's very important that you change to this particular view. Now, you now have these little rows. Um, that remind me a little bit more of iMovie, but it's not exact. Um, you have video, main, audio, and voiceover. We're going to make use of the video and the main. Now this is the, um, uh, the opening title sequence that was already built in. I'm just going to get rid of that for now um, by clicking delete uh, because we don't need that at the moment. So, going, clicking the video one track, I'm going to drag the video, my sample video, and lay it right there. And now I have my, you can preview it this way. Now there's no sound in this video, but if there were, I would want to click this mute button right over here. That removes all sound from the video. Okay, if you for some reason don't want it completely silent and only partially, you can manually adjust the volume this way. But I want it completely silent. Now I'm going to add audio this time, and I'm going to click the music note again. I'm going to drag my sample audio clip down to where it says audio. And it's going to load up, and there we go. Now, when you play the two, you now have your audio over top of your video. My audio clip is a little bit too long, but WeVideo makes it pretty simple to adjust this. All you do is you scroll over to the end of it, and you get these little click and drag to trim the ending of the clip arrows, and you just drag it over till it lines up with your video, and all of a sudden you're done. So, I can click my preview button, all five seconds of it, and it's done. Excellent. So you finished layering and editing your video however you like, and we're going to go to Publish next, and it's right up here. So when I select Publish, it's going to ask me for 
a title. I'm going to call this sample video two because I've made a couple of these already. Set your title and it will take you to this page. Now if you've been using WeVideo for a while, you probably remember when it was all completely free and you could you know, upload to YouTube and share it with other people and do all of these things without paying any money. Well, you can't do that anymore. So the options you have if you're doing this for free is um, uploading to WeVideo and Google Drive plus, you know, the quality of the video. Now before you publish, I want you to pay attention to this private lock right here. Um, it's a little confusing at first because it says private no matter what you click. The green open lock means that it is not private. You can see that especially when you go over to destination, it's going to WeVideo and Google Drive. However, if I click that lock and it turns red, all of a sudden that is private. And you can see it again in destination that it's WeVideo and Google Drive, but private. Even if you send someone the link to your private video, unless they are logged into your account, they won't be able to see it. So especially if you're sharing this with, say, a teacher, make sure that this lock stays open and green. So once you have all that set and you are happy, you can go ahead and click Publish Video. Now it's telling me that it's going to take a little bit to process and it's going to send me an email when it's done, which is fantastic because you can walk away, go get a soda, do whatever you need to do, come back and it will tell you when it's done. I'm going to wait for my video to process and when it's done, I'll be back. So my video is done and it's published. Um, if you look at the status page, it will even tell you so. But more importantly, your email tells you so. So this is saying my video has successfully exported and you can see it in two different places your home page or your Google Drive I'm gonna go ahead and click export to home page now I'm not exactly sure why it didn't take the title that I wanted it to but we can deal with that later um, this is the um, easiest way to share your uh, to me the video that you just made there it is in all of its short glory my five second sample video now I can download my own video right here Wait, no, I can't because we video changed everything. So if you want to download this video, but you don't want to pay $4.99 a month, let me show you how to do that. What you're going to need, the easiest way that I know how, is you're going to need to access Firefox. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Firefox. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of this right here, and I'm going to copy my web address. And I'm going to go down here to my friend Firefox, new video or new window. I'm going to paste my address, click enter, and there it is, my video. Now, those of you familiar with Firefox know that there's this wonderful thing right here called Download Helper. If you haven't downloaded this and you like to get videos, by all means, give it a shot. Um, I'm going to select whenever the little spheres are spinning, then that's when, telling you it has something on the page it can download. I'm going to click the downward pointing arrow. And looky there, it gives me, you know, videos to download. I'm going to go ahead and just click plain old download. The download and convert does something weird that I don't understand. Um, so I'm going to change this to sample video 2, which is what I wanted to call it in the first place. Um, now you can put it in whatever folder you want. Music videos, projects, it's where it's going to go for now. Um, click save. And all of a sudden, it's downloaded. You can click your little downloaded guy right here and it will open it in QuickTime Player because you now have a copy of it on your hard drive. Now, I don't exactly know how to do this on a Chromebook, um, but for my purposes is for teaching, um, when my students submitted their videos to me, I wanted to download a copy of it so that um, I could put it on a YouTube playlist um, and, dis and use at um, our community tech night. So this is why I, I have the option to do this. Um, uh, there might be other ways to, to download these videos now, but this is what I know is the easiest, the most accessible. Um, so I hope that helps.